Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. In today's video, we are going to be picking up my new Tesla. Pretty excited about that. We're sitting in my wife's Model 3 and we're gonna be headed up there in just a moment. So a couple of things I wanted to go over um, after the last video that we finished was the ordering part. I did get my VIN number about 10 days after the order was placed. It's been about uh, 24 days since we ordered the Model Y. And during that time, we also got an email about financing. Financing was very simple. I did try financing through uh, USAA and they came back uh, with uh, a, a good rate. Uh, but I also tried Tesla financing because I wanted to see it, if they were any better. And it, it was better in the sense that it was a, also a great rate, um, but they were gonna give me more for the car. Tesla Finance will only finance the amount of the car. They will not finance the tax, title, license, anything else, stock fees. So anything above the price of the car, um, out of pocket. Uh, I did end up going with that. It was 2.49% and it goes to a US bank so name brand bank but they got a that's a, a great rate and we went with that also got to mention that the process for this was so much easier than ever going into a dealership they sent me and my wife separate uh documents to sign through uh edocs so we just signed online when we get there i don't know what else we have to sign it's required that my wife needs to be on there because she is a uh, a co-borrower or co and she's also registered on the car so we both have to go up there. I think we just have to flash our driver's license. Uh, I'm not sure we'll find out when we get there, but so far this is a hassle-less, hassle-free, that's the word, hassle-free process. And I've spent so many hours in dealerships. I've been in dealerships until one o'clock in the morning, fighting with prices and financing, and it takes so much time. So I don't know if we have all the docs signed. We'll find out when we, when we get there and we'll be good to go. We are going to leave here in a minute. I'm very excited. So this is how we check in. We just scan our phone on this in order to get someone to come out and deliver the car. We're gonna do that now. All right, hey guys, here's the car. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna inspect it. We wanna make sure that everything is in tip top shape. So this is it, pretty excited. And let's go take a look. A few moments later. Okay, so we're gonna walk you through the car and through our inspection what we found we did find a couple blemishes here and there uh, right here on this headlight very hard to see you can see it right there I can see it pretty good through the camera lens but uh, we've got some scratches there they tried to wipe it off but no it wasn't glue or anything uh, over here let's see if we can pick this up we got one here oh you can definitely see that there we've got Another one right there, going back and forth. You can see it in the, the reflection of the tire rim. Another one right below it. You could see that. And uh, I think there was another one around here. I think right here, you can see that. Uh, paint job was not the best on this, gotta be honest with you. Um, we found some white stuff right here. They rubbed some of it off. It was There was a lot more. 
but you can see those two white specks. And then down here, there was a line which they rubbed out and another mark up here and they were able to rub that out. Uh, going around the back, that's where the toe hitch is. Right underneath there, you take that off with the screwdriver. Uh, on the back tailgate, we had some marks and scratches, but we went ahead and rubbed that off, so that's okay. But the worst, actually the front fender might be the worst. Um, this is gonna be hard to pick up. They rubbed it, but right here, some of the clear coat is actually missing. Uh, let's see here. If we can get an angle where you can see that on the lens, but right here, and you can actually, your finger can go over it and you can feel it. And there's another spot right here. You can see the, the white speck there, but there is actually clear coat missing from right there. And it's about half the size of my pinky nail. Uh, you just can't see it in this light, but you can definitely see it in the sun. And that's how I first noticed it. They rubbed it out a little bit, so there's some, some compound in there. But right there is the, the second spot. The rest of the car looks pretty good. On the inside, there were some handprints on the back of the seat on both of them. And I actually made them scrub it. It was, was kind of mean with that, but um, there's gonna be dirt on here. I want it to be my dirt, not some strangers. So th they wiped everything down, but it, it was something that was blatantly obvious. I saw it before I even got, got the doors open. So they cleaned that up. All right, so I was very excited to see that I got the new console. This is the one that they just, uh, moved from with the glossy to the matte finish. Uh, the differences on this, you can see up here, you can put your phone down and it's not gonna fall into the bottom like it does on my wife's Model 3. This is also a soft material. And my phone, which is an iPhone 12 Max with a case on it with those three cameras, does not charge on my wife's Model 3, but it will charge here. So you can set it down here even with the case on and, and the camera's bumping it out, it will charge We'll do the wireless charging. On the console, you've got this that just slides forward and springs back. Uh, this is, I like this better as opposed to the flip up where you have the big cubby where everything goes down. Inside, there's two USB chargers. Uh, it, I've already put this in here, but you've got to get an adapter. This is, I think, USB A and this is C or, or vice versa or something like that. But you need to have these in order to charge, it doesn't take the normal charging cable. And there's a little plastic mat that comes out so that you can clean it. Got your cup holders here. Then you've got this part of the console, which just goes down into here. You've got a uh, 12 volt adapter, and I don't believe there's any other chargers in here. And then it just closes up nice and fancy. On the back, you have the air vents. You've got two USB chargers, one here and one here. They're the same as the ones up front. Okay, so we're driving home now. We've got the car, everything went well, and now we're gonna go over a couple of things. So guys, it's a couple weeks later. We've got a bunch of things taken care of, so I wanna give you a conclusion, okay? Uh, the buying experience, mostly excellent. This is, I, I've, I don't know how many cars I've bought at dealerships over the years, 30, 40, I don't know. Uh, but it's plenty, and I never get in and out quickly, and I've already talked about that, so I'm not gonna rehash it. If you watched my first video, I think I mentioned that then, but if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it now so you can see what led up to this. The buying experience was excellent. It was quick. It was in and out uh, much quicker, and it could have been a lot, but it could have been a lot quicker because there were some issues. Uh, part of the delivery, when you get there, you have to accept delivery of the car before you can actually get in the car, and you have to, I forget exactly how you do it, it's like accept it on your app or something. And I was like, I'm not accepting delivery of this car because I need to inspect this car. Already from my point of view, I could, just looking in the car, I saw handprints on it. So I was gonna say accept and then find issues. So I don't know how they work. I don't know if they're gonna be like, well, you've accepted it, it's yours, bye-bye. I don't wanna do that. So I talked to this, this lady about getting the car unlocked so I could look at it before the inspection. She says, okay, well, the app is down. Uh, you're not gonna be able to get in the car anyway. I gotta go talk to my boss. He's gonna have to unlock it. So we literally had to wait like 30 minutes for her to go back and forth. Uh, I mean, during this whole process, this was the first time I saw her because when you go in, you scan the thing and then she calls you up and she says, oh, 
Why don't you uh, go over to your car, accept delivery, sign the papers, leave the papers in the drop box, and you're free to go. They're like, okay, that sounds great, but if I find one problem, it puts a snag in this whole thing. So while I was waiting for her, obviously I saw the handprints, so I was like, okay, well, there's already an issue. Uh, so she comes out, goes through the whole process. Half hour later, the car's unlocked. In that time, we started finding other things. Uh, you know, the paint issues that I've already talked about, um, the, the scratched headlight, um, and the dirty handprints. And the, so she opens it up. Inside the car, there was no other issues. I really couldn't find anything else wrong besides the fact that she's now in there with some sort of cleaner cleaning off all the seats. So she got that taken care of. The paint issues were set, they told me to, on the mobile app, when it comes back online, because I couldn't do it then, uh, go ahead and uh, schedule an appointment for that, uh, for the headlight. And I did that, the, and I also have Homelink, so I wanted to get that also installed, and that's also a mobile visit. Uh, Homelink is something that we might do another video on. Uh, we've got video of the guy installing the Homelink system. You really can't do it yourself because you have to do some programming in the car. Otherwise, I would have just done it myself and made a whole install video on it. But hey, nope, that's not happening. So the mobile guys came out. They fixed the headlight. Uh, they replaced it. On the first time they came out, they brought out a left headlight and it was the right headlight. So they had to come back uh, that following Monday because it was a Friday with the correct headlight. Of course, during that time, I had to drive around with a headlight that wasn't connected. They forgot to plug the thing back in, so the car told me, hey, you got no headlight. So the car's driving around, looked like it had a black eye. So three days with no headlight, but they came back, they replaced it. Uh, that was taken care of. They got the home link in when they replaced the headlight. Like I said, we'll do probably do a video on that in the future. But as far as the paint goes, he goes, well, you need to reschedule for the paint because that needs to go in. I was like, okay, well, I can't reschedule because it's not letting me access any points. There's a problem in the app. You cannot set up a secondary appointment because until that one is closed out. So until that following Monday, when they closed out the headlight, um, I could not reschedule the paint repairs, which I'd already included on the first work order. A little bit of a problem. They should have they should have split that up and taken care of that for me, but um, I guess they are unable to because they need to make a little bit of an improvement on the app. Just my opinion. Um, so when you get the car, you need to set up your Bluetooth. Uh, we couldn't do that because the app was down, so I had to do that later. The car was not um, calibrated yet for the autopilot. The autopilot would not work until we were about like eight miles away. And as we're driving, the steering wheel is slowly turning blue, like a counter in progress. And when I tried to turn on autopilot, I was like, oh, autopilot's not calibrated, needs to finish. So we had to wait on that. Um, I would have expected them to do that before delivery during the time that the car was driven with the five or six miles that were on it, at least get that started, but we'll find out a process to make that a little bit better. I don't know, maybe you just can't because they would have to take it down the freeway. I don't know, it wasn't a big deal. I just would have liked to have known about that. Another note on the app, if you have two Teslas and you're set for one, like I'm, I'd be set for my Tesla and I go over to my wife's car to go in there for whatever reason, the car's not going to unlock. It's not going to say, oh, you know, oh, look, here comes Bear, and let's set the seats for him. You've got to go into the app, and you've got to slide over to the other car. Um, otherwise, it's like it's not connected. Uh, so you need to, that's just a little side note. Um, right now, the car is at Tesla getting the paint issues taken care of. They've had it since Wednesday. Today is Friday. So it's been only two days, but they said that they're going to have it back uh, later this afternoon, which is actually pretty good. Two-day turnaround in the body shop. Uh, so if they get it back today, they did give me a loaner car. I got a Tesla Model 3 Long Range. Funny thing about that is it has full self-driving capability, which is locked out, and the standard uh, driving, the standard acceleration is also locked out. I can only drive on chill, and that, that's kind of annoying. But because they cited the car with, with standard, everybody has standard, so it's but anyway, so that's locked out. A couple other things are not a big deal, it's only been uh two days, and I should get the car back. But I did get the loaner car, so I was happy because they did send me a message saying, We may not have a loaner car for you. And I went there, and that, yeah, that brings up another problem. So they sent me a message saying that we may not have a loaner car, but we'll give you a hundred dollars 
an Uber credit per day, um, or you just have someone pick you pick you up. And I was like, that's not going to work for me, uh, just because I, I use this car for business. And I want to message them back and say, hey, that's not going to work. I need to have a loaner car, or I'm not driving 45 minutes there. So let me know if you don't have one. I cancel the appointment, make it for when you have one. So I go to the app to message them and can't message them back. And I go through the whole thing. There's no way to, for me to contact them through the app saying, I have to have a loaner car. You told me I was going to have a loaner car when you made me accept the uh, delivery. So there's nothing I can do from there. So I find their information on the internet. I call up the service center and their phone tree does not have any option on it to actually talk to somebody there. You can find out how to do things online. You can confirm your appointment and you can schedule an appointment, but you cannot talk to anybody. So I had no choice but to drive there. And when I got there, the first thing I said is like, so do you have a loaner car? Ooh, I don't know. Let me check. We'll have to look. I'm like, if you don't have one, the, the appointment's canceled. And I, because I couldn't contact you and say, I have to have one. So fortunately they had one. It wasn't an issue, but that is an issue. If a situation like that, you need to talk to someone, at least enable the, the app to send a message back saying, I have to have one. So that's an improvement that can be made also, just like the couple other small ones. But otherwise the experience I think was, was awesome so far. They've handled me as far as problems and issues. They've handled everything awesomely. Uh, mistakes happen, like wrong headlights get put into into the car. That happens. I don't hold, I don't hold fault on anybody for that. It's going to happen no matter who does it. People, humans are involved. So it's all good. Car's coming back today. Uh, after two days at the shop, I'm happy with the car. The car is awesome. It is one of the most fun cars I've ever had. And I've had a lot of different stuff over, over the years. So I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to comment below. If you have any hate statements, feel free to comment below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.